Guys, I had an epic fail. Let's just get into it. The video you're about to watch, I go to Chicago. I had a networking event and it was with WIPA, the Wedding International Professional Association. And I figured since a lot of the videos I post are relevant to wedding videography, this would be a good time to maybe ask a planner there. And not only did I ask a planner, I asked the planner who planned the whole event. She's on the board of WIPA. She was like the perfect type of person you wanna ask. How do you become a preferred vendor? What do videographers need to do? And that's the question I asked. She was kind enough to take the mic, hold the mic, talk to the camera. And I got home and I, the only clip I had was the, the end. It was just the end, it was like, I guess I fucking didn't hit record. That's, that's my epic fail. Um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the vlog. We're about to go do our first cold plunge. It's gonna be miserable. Well, it's cold plunged enough out here. So the first cold plunge is done. So kind of shivering. We really just dunked ourselves real quick. Kind of sat in it. And that was it. Um, gonna have to get used to that shit. That was cold. Physique update. Whew. Let's go. What's going on? Today we are headed to Chicago Winery. We're doing this networking event with WIPA, the Wedding International Professional Association. Now, my goal for 2023 was to start networking with more planners and becoming chummy with them, taking them out to lunch if necessary, and just really expanding our market as far as a wedding team. So, let's go have some lunch at Chicago Winery. landed let's pay for parking now I have a love-hate relationship with Chicago Chicago is a cool place to come there's a lot of creatives here and there's a lot of good things to do here however I hate parking in Chicago it's an absolute bitch and what is this we are official this is Gretchen Culver, owner of Rocket Science Events, the planner I asked what you had to do to become a preferred vendor. The next two clips you'll see are the clips I had that I thought was the full interview, but it wasn't. I do happen to explain everything she said right after, so stay tuned for the full explanation. This is going to be basically for videographers starting out. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure if you caught everything she said. The mic was a little bit far away, but basically she's looking for someone who's going to be a team player. To, they're willing to cut her and edit for her social media to show off her skills and talent as well. And then someone who's just willing to work with the photographer. This event, if anything, is teaching me that relationships matter more than your actual skill set. Networking is terrifying when you don't know anybody. I've talked to quite a few people, um, but being the first event solo, wife not here, like it's one of those things that I thought I was an extrovert, but it takes time. All right, we did it. First networking event of the year is done. Now it's time to make our hour and a half trip back home. Uh, honestly, I wish the wife could have been here for that. I think she would have loved it. It was really good food, good wine, and just all in all, it was a great time to kind of just be with people in the industry, hear their perspective about the upcoming recession and things going on, and you know, we can make it. <laughs> 